The Armistice of November 11th, 1918. The air is electric with the glad tidings of a great joy. The Armistice of November 11th, 1918 marked the truce signed by the Allies in Germany, which finally ended all fighting on land, sea and air. When news of the armistice reached Hemel Hempstead shortly after 11am, the town burst into celebration. Work at Apsley Mills and Kent's Bush's works ground to a halt and men, women and children streamed into the streets. The Gazette reported that a great shout of relief went up, mingled with the tears of those who were overcome with emotion at the remembrance of the gallant lives sacrificed. Church bells cheerfully chimed the glad tidings and Dickinson's silver band marched up the main street playing patriotic airs. Flags of the Allies flew from all the flagpoles and windows in the borough and were waved enthusiastically from thousands of hands. The towns were awash with colour as every person, place and thing, from motors to cars to prams to horses and dogs, were decorated with red, white and blue favours. Summarising the day's joyous events, the Gazette reported an appearance of festivity which has not been known for many years, as though the populace had awakened from some terrible dream. The picture at the top shows teachers and pupils from Berkhampstead School celebrating on top of St Peter's Church, Berkhampstead. The picture to the left shows employees of Dickinson's paper mill surrounded by red, white and blue decorations. The picture at the bottom shows Berkhampstead High Street filled with people celebrating the armistice. Can you spot the Red Cross nurse? Peace Day, July 19th, 1919. To celebrate and mark the end of World War I, a bank holiday was declared in Britain. Though the main spectacle was in London, other celebrations organised by local authorities and communities took place in cities, towns and villages across the country. Festivities in Hemel Hempstead commenced at 12.30pm with a victory parade led by the Salvation Army Band and the Mayor and Mayoress in open carriage. The scene depicted was one of joyful celebration, of flags flying, flowers abounding and cheers resounding. A jubilant cohort of children from Pickett's End, Queen Street, Leverstock Green and Berry Road School followed the band. Some poignantly bearing banners captioned Daddy's One, a tribute which it was noted had a very delicate effect on the crowd. A striking display of six tableau cars depicting scenes from the war provoked a jubilant reaction from the exuberant crowd. The scene created by the book department of the Apsley Paper Mills titled Old Bill gathered much favour, juxtaposing past and present. One side portrayed Bill sitting in a shell hole with his mate, while the other side depicted him demobilised and back with his wife in their cosy little home. The scene created by the envelope department of Apsley Paper Mills, titled Women War Workers, likewise attracted much attention, depicting a female bus conductor, a postwoman, a VAD, a land girl and a munitions worker, a member of the Women's Forage Corps, a member of the Women's Army Auxiliary Corps and a motor driver. The picture at the top right shows Hemel Hempstead Old Town Hall, decorated in red, white and blue for July 19th, 1919. The images at the bottom show Hemel Hempstead High Street in the Old Town, decorated in flags. The final picture shows Mayor and Bailiff Gustavus Arthur Talbot, surrounded by other councillors in front of Heath Park Holt, which sat along the Hemel Hempstead to Harpenden railway line. Peace Day, July 19th, 1919. In Berkhampstead, decorated cars, cycles and characters paraded to the tunes played by the St Peter's Town Band. At 1pm, a lunch for demobilised men and men home on leave took place at the OTC mess room on Bridge Street, which was attended by over 600 people. Satisfied by the spoils of lunch, a crowd of two to 3,000 strong descended upon the cricket ground at 3pm for an afternoon of sports. Races included a 120 yards veterans race, greasy pole climbing and tilting the bucket. Surrounding villages followed suit. Attendees at a sports day in North Church engaged in races which included a skipping competition, a three-legged race, a ladies egg and spoon race, 
a potato picking race and a threading the needle race. Crowds in Aldbury had pillow fights, a flower pot race, a tug of war and a married ladies against single ladies race. While peace had been declared, the pain remained, and such scenes of jubilance were for many tinged with sadness. Those who survived brought with them the memories of those left behind. The image at the top shows peacetime celebrations on Berkhampstead High Street. Each woman wears the name of an allied power, namely Britain, Belgium, Japan, Italy, France and America. And below shows a tug of war at Hemel Hempstead.